Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a journey through the wisdom gained from epic failures. Today, we're delving into a topic that resonates with each one of us, the life lessons we learn from the inevitable failures we face. We are all too familiar with the sting of defeat, but what if we told you that these failures are not only unavoidable, but also incredibly valuable? Throughout this enlightening journey, we'll be sharing 10 powerful life lessons you can learn from failures. Failure, after all, isn't the end, but a stepping stone leading us towards growth and success. So buckle up and prepare to reframe your perspective on failure. Let's shift our focus from the fear of falling to the wisdom gained from rising again. So grab your notepads and get ready to dive into the first life lesson. Welcome to Money Funnel. Lesson one, failure is not the end, but rather a new beginning. Any mistakes or failures in life is a bump in the road, a hiccup in the journey, and guess what? It's okay. Failure is as much a part of life as success. It's like the flip side of the coin, you can't have one without the other. Let's think of it this way. When you trip and fall, do you stay on the ground? No, you dust yourself off and get back up. That's what failure is. It's a stumble, a fall, a temporary setback. But it's not the end. It's an opportunity for you to learn, to grow, to adapt. It's a chance to reassess your strategies, to come back stronger and more determined. Embrace it, don't fear it. Because in the grand scheme of things, failure is just a stepping stone on the path to success. Remember, every sunset is followed by a sunrise. Lesson two, don't shy away from taking risks. Let's take a moment to think about this. What does it really mean to take a risk? It means stepping out of your comfort zone, daring to face the unknown, and not being afraid of what might happen. It's about pushing boundaries and testing waters that you've never navigated before. Let's be clear. We're not talking about reckless actions here. We're talking about calculated risks. These are the kind of risks that have been thought out, weighed, and measured. They're the kind of risks that, no matter the outcome, you learn something valuable. You see, when you take calculated risks, you open yourself up to new opportunities, new experiences, and new paths to success. It's through these risks that we grow, evolve, and ultimately succeed. So don't let fear hold you back. Embrace the unknown. Because at the end of the day, risk-taking is the cornerstone of great achievements. Lesson three, own up to your actions. Navigating the choppy waters of life often means making mistakes, and that's okay. The key to growth, however, lies not in the avoidance of mistakes, but in how we respond to them. Accepting responsibility for our actions, whether they lead to success or failure, is an integral part of this process. When we acknowledge our missteps, we do more than just admit our human fallibility. We also open the door to self-improvement, to learn from those mistakes and to take corrective action. This, in turn, fosters resilience, a quality that enables us to bounce back from setbacks and to face future challenges with renewed confidence and determination. Remember, responsibility is not about shouldering blame or bearing guilt. It's about understanding the role we play in shaping our destinies and in using that understanding to affect positive change in our lives. Responsibility is the stepping stone to maturity. Lesson four, learn to laugh at your shortcomings. You see, life is full of twists and turns and sometimes we stumble and fall. But here's a little secret. It's okay to trip up. In fact, it's more than okay. It's human. Humor has this magical quality. It can transform an embarrassing stumble into a memorable moment. It lightens the burden of our shortcomings and breathes life into our failures. So when you trip and fall instead of frowning, why not chuckle a bit? It's about having the courage to be imperfect, to be flawed and still be able to laugh at it. Because the moment we start laughing at our mistakes, we stop being slaves to them. We gain the power to turn our failures into stepping stones for success. Remember, being able to laugh at yourself means being comfortable with who you are, mistakes and all. Laughter is the best medicine, especially when you're the joke. Lesson five, seek feedback and learn from it. Imagine you're trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. That's what going through life without seeking feedback can feel like. You keep bumping into walls, making the same mistakes over and over because you can't see them. Feedback is like lifting the blindfold. It provides insight into where we're going wrong, what we're doing right, and how we can improve. But let's be clear, not all feedback is created equal. It's crucial to know the difference between constructive criticism and plain negativity. Listen to the former, shrug off the latter. Constructive feedback can be a gold mine of ideas on how to better yourself, while negativity only serves to bring you down. 
The key is to be open and receptive. Embrace feedback even when it's hard to hear. Use it as a stepping stone to refine your actions, sharpen your skills, and elevate your game. Remember, feedback is the breakfast of champions. Lesson 6. Don't be too hard on yourself. Now this is a crucial one. Life is a journey, a series of ups and downs, ebbs and flows. And during this journey, it's so easy to become our own harshest critic. But remember, no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes and that's okay. What's important is that we learn from them, grow from them. But how can we learn if we're too busy berating ourselves? Self-compassion is key. It's about acknowledging our mistakes without letting them define us. It's about understanding that it's okay to fall as long as we pick ourselves up and keep going. When we're kind to ourselves, we open up the space for personal growth and self-improvement. We allow ourselves to see our strengths, to build on them, and to work on our weaknesses without the fear of self-judgment. So don't be too hard on yourself. You deserve kindness, especially from yourself. Lesson 7. See failure as an opportunity for innovation. It's easy to perceive failure as a dead end, a sign to quit. But let's flip the script. What if we see failure not as a barrier, but a launch pad? Every failure, every misstep, every blunder carries a lesson within it. And sometimes that lesson can spark an idea, a concept that might not have been born otherwise. When we stumble, we're forced to reassess, to rethink, to reinvent. We're nudged to find new pathways, to devise fresh solutions. Think about it. Every innovative product, every groundbreaking service, every revolutionary idea, they all sprouted from a seed of failure. They were born because someone dared to fail, dared to experiment and dared to innovate. So don't cower in the face of failure. Embrace it, learn from it, innovate through it. Because true innovation, it often sprouts from the soil of failure. Remember, innovation often sprouts from the soil of failure. Lesson eight, surround yourself with supportive people. It's often said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So, take a moment and think about your tribe. Are they supportive? Do they inspire you to be better? Are they your cheerleaders when you stumble and fall? Having a strong support system is like having a safety net that catches you when you fall. Surrounding yourself with supportive people can make the journey of life less daunting. These are the people who can provide you with a fresh perspective when you're stuck, celebrate your victories, and encourage you during your failures. They can offer advice, lend an empathetic ear, and remind you of your worth when you're feeling low. In the end, the people you surround yourself with can greatly influence your approach to failure and success. Remember, your tribe influences your vibe. Lesson nine, don't let fear of failure hold you back. Fear of failure, it's that nagging voice in your head, whispering all the what ifs and worst case scenarios. It's the silent barrier that hinders your progress, the invisible wall that keeps you from reaching your full potential. But here's the kicker, it's all in your head. Fear is like a mirage. It seems real and daunting, but once you step closer, you'll realize it's just an illusion. So how do we conquer this? The answer is simple yet profound. You embrace it. You acknowledge the fear, but refuse to let it dictate your actions. You use it as a catalyst for growth, not a barricade to your dreams. Remember, every successful person out there has faced failure. They felt the fear, but they didn't let it stop them. They pushed through, learned from their mistakes, and emerged stronger. So when fear of failure whispers in your ear, whisper back, watch me. Fear is a liar. Don't let it hold you back. Lesson 10. Every mistake is a lesson waiting to be learned. In this great journey we call life, mistakes are our road signs. They guide us, showing us what works and what doesn't. They're not just stumbling blocks, but stepping stones leading us towards our ultimate goal. Think of every mistake as a question in an exam. When you answer incorrectly, you don't just move on. You review the question, understand where you went wrong and learn the correct answer. That's how you pass the test. That's how you grow. Mistakes are not meant to discourage us, but to enlighten us. They're our personal tutors, molding us into better versions of ourselves. They're the lessons we didn't know we needed, the wisdom we gain from experience. So the next time you make a mistake, don't look at it as a failure. Look at it as an opportunity to learn something new. Remember, mistakes are the teachers of wisdom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our journey through these 10 life lessons. We've traveled a path that's taught us that failure is not the end, but rather a new beginning. We've learned to take risks and face our fears, accepting responsibility while also learning to laugh at ourselves. 
We've discovered the power of feedback and the importance of not being too hard on ourselves. Innovation often blossoms from the ashes of failure, leading us to embrace it as a catalyst for change. The importance of a supportive network has been highlighted, and we've learned not to let fear of failure hold us back. Each stumble, each misstep, is a lesson waiting to be learned, a chance for growth and improvement. It's a journey, not a destination. Let's endeavor to apply these lessons in our lives, to grow stronger and wiser. Remember, every failure is a stepping stone to success. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. If you like this video, please help us grow this channel by subscribing now. Don't forget to hit that like and notification bell for more motivational and financial tip videos.